in an earlier session you have already looked at estimating the stock price by basics so that approach essentially involved discounting the future cash flows expected from the stock in the future so those cash flows could have taken the form of either cash dividends or share buybacks now we are going to talk about another approach which is known as valuation by comparables this approach is also called as relative valuation or comparable companies analysis before we talk about this approach a lot of questions might pop up in your minds at this point in time for example what this approach is all about what are the different steps involved in this approach what are the challenges to using this approach for what kind of companies is this approach more suitable or less suitable for and so on and so forth so we are going to address each of these questions as we go along let us first of all begin by jotting down the steps involved in this approach the first step involved in this approach is to identify comparables comparables means firms that are comparable or similar to the firm whose stock price we want to find out typically we refer to firms in the same industry as comparables additionally we might impose additional constraints in the form of let us say size we might require that our comparables have a size which is similar to the size of our firm whose stock price we want to find out now the next step involved in this approach is to choose a suitable multiple or a ratio that multiple could be price to earnings ratio it could be price to book ratio or it could be some other ratio so in the example that i am going to talk about in a while we are going to illustrate using price to earnings ratio as our multiple now the third step which is involved in this approach is to find out the mean or the median value of the chosen multiple for our comparables and finally the last step involved in this approach is to estimate the stock price so essentially this involves answering the question that what would the stock be worth if our firm traded at the same multiple as that of our comparable now let us look at the data on stock prices price to earnings ratio and price to book ratio for some firms in two different industries it services industry and household and personal products industry this data was taken from money control on 20th april 2024 now we know that infosys is a listed firm and therefore the stock price of infosys is already known to you for a moment let us assume that the stock price of infosys is not known to you and our objective is to find out an estimate of the stock price of infosys it is given that the earnings per share of infosys for the financial year that ended in march 2024 was rupees 58.76 now let us follow the steps i listed a while ago to arrive at an estimate of infosys stock price the first step as you know is to list the comparables of infosys since infosys is in it services industry we will choose firms that are in the it services industry as our comparables so therefore tcs hcl technologies and wipro have been chosen as our comparables the second step is to choose a suitable multiple as i told you previously we are going to choose price to earnings ratio as our multiple now the third step involves finding out the mean value of price to earnings ratio for our comparables 
and this comes out as 25.38 finally we find out the stock price of infosys we find out or we arrive at an estimate of stock price of infosys by multiplying the mean value of the price to earnings ratio for our comparables with the eps of infosys that is we multiply 25.38 with infosys eps of 58.76 rupees and this comes out to be 1491 thus we have arrived at a stock price of rupees 1491 for infosys using valuation by comparables approach now you can see that this estimate of the stock price of infosys is not very different from the actual stock price of infosys so therefore this approach can give us a reasonable estimate of stock price under certain conditions you could also adopt this approach to estimate the stock price for hul and this has been left as an exercise for you to do it yourself in practice we use this method to estimate the stock price of firms that are typically not listed now what do you think could be potential challenges or shortcomings of this approach so first of all finding comparables is not an easy task this is because no two firms are alike so essentially the question boils down to how comparable is my comparable further this approach assumes that that comparables trade at similar multiples however this may not always be the case in some industries the value of multiples can vary widely within the industry and finally some multiples may not work for some industries or at least some companies for instance you typically cannot make use of price to earnings ratio to estimate the stock price of startups or loss making companies this is because the earnings for these firms are often negative and therefore you are going to get an estimate of stock price which is going to be negative and you know that the stock price cannot be negative so nobody is going to give you a stock and at the same time going to pay you some money that is absurd right so this marks the end of our session and i hope now you can use this approach of finding out valuation by comparables in your day to day lives